Hey guys, what's up? It's Galaxy S3 Motor here. Today I am back with another review. Today I'm going to review the Aviate launcher. Now this is Yahoo's launcher that they acquired from another company. I forgot which company it was. But basically this is a smart launcher that helps you with everyday things. I think it's a great launcher. And right now I'm about to dive in, show you my setup, and show you what it's all about. Alright guys, this is it. This is Aviate launcher. So first, I'm gonna dive in and show you my setup. So my this is my wallpaper background for my lock screen, because Aviate does not have custom wallpapers. So this is it. Just a little cartoon thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I think it looks cool. So I like it, and that's what it is. So you go in here. I'll turn the brightness down so you can see it better. All right. This is a smart launcher. So basically what it does is it basically knows what you're doing or what time of the day it is and it gives you apps and things to make your day easier. So right now it's just night time because I'm making it, it's 11.20, this is p.m. And right here it says set alarm and do not disturb. So you can hit do not disturb and it, well let me make my volume go up real high. And see how up here doesn't have any uh, sound icon, hit do not disturb turns off your sound because it's night time it's like say you're trying to go to sleep you don't want your thing on your notifications on just hit the button set alarm it'll take you to your clock app and then you can make an alarm for like whenever you want to wake up or whatever and it basically just helps you get prepared for the next day which is really cool all right so you go down here and this is the same on every home page because you have multiple home pages you have work going somewhere and listening multiple home pages but if you scroll this up you have a widget and you can customize the widget you can add either photos or other widgets and say that I want let's see Google Play Music I can put it down there and now that pops up and it makes the other one smaller you can't make it bigger though you can't like keep scrolling like blink feed or whatever so you remove that I just keep mine as the Yahoo weather and it doesn't come with the Yahoo weather but it recommends it it's actually a really nice app, but it's whatever. Anyway, so we're going to go home. And down here, these are the apps that remain the same on every page that you go to. I have my camera, my phone, my text, Chrome, settings, all that, other, all that good stuff. Oh, get out of settings. All that good stuff here. So that's what it is on the main page. So scroll over here. Say that you're on the road, going somewhere. It'll give you traffic, home, and office. Say that you want to go to the office or whatever. It maps. And it brings you, and it, like you can set where you want to go. Or set your work. And look. It'll bring you. It shows you. And how to get there. Look at that. That's cool. Alright. And that, once again, this remains the same here. So that's, you know, standard. Alright, so now we're going to go into the listening thing. Listening homepage. And now it brings you all your music applications, which is really cool. So say that you go, it gives you, well, say that you go into play music. Right? And I'm going to go into something that I listen to. What am I going to listen to? Ew, Rick Ross. Why is Rick Ross there? Why is that there? Get Rick Ross out of here. Yeah, this is going to Drake. Just because I'm not gonna play it. Let me make sure I'm not gonna play it. Yeah, okay. Oh come on, internet, work for me here. There we go. Uh let's just play. That'll do. Alright. So it's playing a Drake song. That's all that matters. So Drake should pop up here. Soon. I thought. No. Yeah. Alright, so once it starts playing, it's gonna automatically pop up here. Whatever you're doing, it's going to give you the icon of what app it's coming from. It's going to give you that there. And at the bottom down here, it's going to give you who you're listening to. And it's going to give you, most of the time, it gives you a bio of the artist. And this goes to Spotify, and this is Play Top Tracks. So let me see. I had Mar Once I was playing a Maroon 5 song, and it gave me like a bunch of Maroon 5 stuff. So that's just that song. That'll do. All right. See, you know, automatically changed, and now down here it's loading. See, play top tracks. Information. And right there, 
gives you a bunch of Maroon 5 info, and it gives you like tweets from Maroon 5, more. I think it's going to take you to the Wikipedia page. It's taking me to the Wikipedia page on Maroon 5. That's cool. I didn't know that it took you to the Wikipedia page. I, took, I thought it took you to the app. Huh. Alright, cool. Yeah, well now I know. Alright. So out of that, that's pretty much sums up the listening app. It's really cool. So now the settings here. Obviously, it's it doesn't have a background background image. That's okay, because it makes up for it in just the sheer look of it and the way that it runs. It's just brilliant. Anyway, the theme, though, you can change it. See how it's very white? Obviously, you see it's very white. We're going to change it to dark. And it's supposed to do that. Don't worry. Oh, let me pause this music while it's doing that. No. Stop. Stop. Get out. Back. No, oh, see? Now it's dark. Now it's the dark theme. Turn it down just a little bit. That'll do. Okay. See, just like that. And you can change the theme. Now these icons here, these are not Aviate's icons. Aviate does not change your icons automatically. Okay? That's what I did. I installed this icon pack and I installed oh well I basically I installed all these icon packs they do not come with any of these here let me turn down my brightness so you can see that focus there you go okay default icons it'll yours will look like this if you were running the same apps as me and all this yours would look like this it would not look as good obviously but it's still nice so I the icon pack that I'm using I am using the what was it what was I using? I think it was this one. Yes, the Umbra Icon Pack. Let me look it up for you guys in the Play Store, because I know I'm going to... Oh, I hit the power button. No, stop. So I know I'm going to get somebody in the comments going, what Icon Pack are you using? So let me look. M-B-R-A. Yukon. Icon. It's hard to do this with the stylus. Umbra icon pack. I'm going to try Umbra. There we go. Umbra icon pack installed by Ryan M. Kelly right there. Click on it. I think it's like $2 or whatever. But it's actually very nice. It's a very nice icon pack. Right here. See? Very nice. It comes with some wallpapers too, I believe. But I don't ever use those. So Umbra icon pack is what I'm using right now. Just in case you're wondering. And if you guys want, I will post my wallpaper for my lock screen. This one in the description. I have it on my Mediafire website and all. So I'll probably just put the APK for the icon pack in the description as well. Because I love you guys. Alright, so now we're going to go over here. And this is your collections. All your work apps. It categorizes it all for you. You don't have to put them all in here. It takes all the apps that it thinks is related to work, and it puts it in there. Everything for settings, it puts it in there. I don't know why Play Store is in the settings, but I keep it there anyway. Social. Let's see, like, photos. You have messaging. Oh, no, get out of messaging. Okay. Uh, text Plus, all that, all that good stuff. Music. Have all your music here. Maps, news, games, everything. Then over here, it just has everything in A to Z. So you can scroll down here. Like, Oh, no. Don't uninstall. It's not where it belongs. It's leaving collections. Okay, cool. So over here, you can just scroll down. It has it all in alphabetical order for you. Which is very handy. I don't ever use the collections usually. Only for Play Store. I just go here. And quickly just tap on it. Just be like, say I want to go to Hangouts. Just go H. Hangouts right there. want to go Titanium Backup. T. Right there. So I mean... It's very simple using this, and I personally, I like using the A to Z a lot more, and I think it's more efficient than sitting there scrolling through all the home pages in, like, normal, if you go to the normal uh, home screen. Google Now Launcher is what I usually use. And you sit there, and you go through, sitting there going through all these, finding all your apps. It's more, it's just simple. 
if you just go to A to Z. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is my home screen. This is my setup. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys want information, more information on the Aviate Launcher, I will happily give it to you if you want me to make like a different personalization video like what I do on my phone, like what I'm running, what I'm what apps I have, that kind of stuff, I will do that as well if you just this guys just gotta tell me. So yeah, uh thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing, I've almost forgot. Since Aviate Launcher requires a code, it requires a code to get in. Hit invite and think Invite someone you think would really like to use Aviate. Five invites left. Now I am willing to give you guys some of my codes. What you have to do is you have to comment saying Aviate code. You have to subscribe and like the video. And I will eventually randomly choose people. Five people. Five. Five. I can't even get my hand out that far because my camera's at an angle. Five people. Five. <laughs> and I will tell you, I will announce the winners in the description. And once I get the winners, I will send you guys an email. You have to leave your email, too. Well, you don't have to leave your email. Send me a message with your email once you enter. And then I will get it to you. And I'll give you the code. I don't know if the code, if it sends it to you automatically or if you have to wait like the rest of us. But I'm assuming if you're inviting somebody that it won't make you wait. I'm not sure. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.